Main article. Starkiller's trial of skill. Your time is over. I am the future of the Sith. Starkiller. To the simulacrum of Darth Desilus in order to develop his skills and focus, Starkiller was ordered by Darth Vader to go to the Jedi Temple on Coruscant to continue his training. Juno Eclipse landed the rogue shadow just outside the front entrance of the temple where Starkiller disembarked, only to be confronted by the local Imperial garrison who revealed that Emperor Palpatine had placed the Jedi Temple off-limits to the general public. Starkiller had little patience for this and attacked the troopers. Even with highly trained Imperial Guardsmen reinforcing them, the garrison troopers were no match for Starkiller's unrestrained destructive capabilities and tactical know-how. Battling his way through the front entryway, he picked a path through the rubble into the main entrance hall of the Jedi Temple, clearing out some of the debris at its rear, opening up the path into the corridors and hallways further in. Following the corridor he cleared, he eventually made his way to the Jedi Trials Chamber. While inspecting the room, Starkiller experienced a vision of sorts, hearing his father's voice warning him that he would need all of his skills to survive the upcoming test. While puzzling this out, he was suddenly blasted by a surge of red lightning, an imitation force attack from a holographic simulacrum of Darth Desilus. Darth Desilus was an ancient power on Jedi who rebelled against the Jedi Order and assumed the mantle of a Sith Lord. Leading a violent insurrection, his army was ultimately drawn into a trap and destroyed while he was killed by the Jedi Council of the Day. Due to his powers and reputation, the Jedi Order created a holographic simulation modeled after him for the training of Jedi Padawans during their final trials. Despite the widespread destruction within the temple during its ransacking, the simulation remained fully functional, along with several others within the temple. The hologram seized the immediate offensive, all the while gloating about the accomplishments of the original Darth Desilus. However, Starkiller fought back ably, backing the simulacrum up against a statue of Palpatine erected at the head of the hall. Starkiller then telekinetically pushed the hologram up along the front of the statue before leaping up and throwing it back down. Standing on top of the statue, Starkiller destabilized it before leaping off, thus crushing the simulacrum beneath it and completing the trial. With the simulacrum deactivated, Starkiller received a message from Darth Vader via PROXY's holographic capabilities. Another Jedi had been located, Kazdan Paratus, in hiding on the junkyard world of Raxus Prime. Vader admitted that he considered Paratus to be more powerful than Starkiller, and didn't expect his apprentice to survive, but made it clear that Paratus' defeat would bring Starkiller closer to his destiny. Starkiller affirmed that he would not fail. Unknown to him, Juno Eclipse was eavesdropping on the exchange. 